Hello everyone, thanks for tuning back in. So what I have here is a unboxing, take two obviously. Something that I have been thinking about for a very, very long time. Actually since almost getting into this hobby about a year ago. And thanks to a friend who helped me out with this. Um, let's just uh, get to it. Batlands, Badlands. On Desperato wheels, I think there's the rims is what they're called. Yep, Desperado. Mounted on Desperado wheels. And just to get you a little, obviously you know what they look like, but I have some really, really sticky, some grippy treads. I'm loving this, loving them, loving them, loving them. Kind of weird for me because I don't see no um, a tall ring on the backside, but 12 millimeter hex, obviously. So, I'll show you a set of four. Two sets, or one set, one pair, two pairs, whatever, however you say that. And so I grabbed my son's truck because it's actually still together. I'll take that off for a second. Um, stay. Let's see. That. Yeah, that yellow makes it pop really nice. I don't know. I'm not too sure if I want to try to paint the rims though. Would like to paint them yellow, that's for sure. But I definitely like how they're still almost the exact same height, but yet they're skinnier. Yeah. Which means they're it's just barely grabbing the well, it might still grab too. That's one of the things I hate about these is, is that if you turn and you hit real hard, it'll grab this. That's the one thing I hate. Because with this old body, I mean, they got chewed up pretty good. Don't really, don't really know. And then with both of them to be on there. Yeah, let's take those. I've actually never even mounted the yellow tires yet. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's a hard decision. Well, there you have it guys, just a quick unboxing. So obviously these are, um, this is for Project Extreme. These are definitely going on Project Extreme. I think they're going to be look really nice. Maybe I can put the yellow wheels on this. These are, um, these rims are pretty chewed up, tires are pretty much gone. I mean, they still got some tread life left in them. Might let my son just keep these. Or, forgot about my rally car that I just built. For now, I could put these. I wonder what these would look like on the rally car. Cutting weight took it out the other day. What was it? Friday. Took it out Friday, right after I finished building it for a quick test run. And it was still pretty wet outside. Obviously, I'm using the drift bumper for now because I don't have another bumper. And, um, I think I could actually take off a set of shocks, but I don't think I will. Where my cross wrench go? 
I'm getting everything all dirty. I like these wheels, but they're a little bit too small. Or at least there's just not enough ground clearance. The arms don't go down far enough. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. That grabs it, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? We're good on better on the book show or Project Extreme show. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Wish I had money I could just buy buy some more. But that's not gonna happen. Probably anytime soon. So there's also another look for you at the rally car. I know it looks kind of weird with the bookshelf set up so high, I think. But I like it. I think it's definitely going to be fun. I can't wait to get some more um, playtime with it. Oh, I actually got to charge my battery back up. And then finish my truck. And I should be good for a while. I think I should be pretty happy with the two trucks. The rally car and the truck. Of course, you can never have too many. So what I was thinking about doing is shaving this off, the stopper, make, giving it a little bit more room. But then again, I might have to change the um, arm brackets right here to aluminum if I did that to give it more strength. Well, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. That's all the progress that I have. I have to um, get a new motor for Project Extreme. Let me take that stuff off. But um, this would have worked. It would barely fit. I would have had to do a little bit more modification. I would have to shave this uh, heat sink down a little bit. But uh, this motor arrived damaged, defective. I'm thinking because during shipping it got knocked around a little too much. Because the person only put it in this tiny bubble wrap envelope and that was it. And the fins had already started poking through. And the motor was getting ready to fall out of the envelope. So. Now I get to waste more money to ship that back just to get a little refund and then go through the headache of trying to find another motor. I'm actually waiting for the ESC for this. This is done. Um, other than losing one of these little um, sponges, my son's truck is done. I mean, ESC to put in there. I have a two cell battery. And he, he'll be good to go. He'll be having some fun with this. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in again. Please, of course, as always, comment, like, subscribe, share.